The EU's anti-fraud body, OLAF, needs to be more reliable and independent. That is why the European Commission this week proposed to create a new controller that will be able to interfere in the work of OLAF and its investigations of the EU institutions. We create a new position, a controller of procedural guarantees, who will have two functions. The first will be to kind of um, ex a formal complaints function for anyone who has a complaint against an o the way Olaf conducts its investigation. And the second will be to uh, authorize Olaf if it wants to carry out um, s specific investigation techniques, for example, entering the offices of members of EU institutions. Olaf, which investigates fraud within the EU institutions, has been in the spotlight ever since former Health Commissioner John Daly had to resign due to bribe accusations in 2012. John Daly was accused of asking for bribes from a major tobacco firm in order to lift the sales ban in the EU of mouth tobacco called Snooze. Olaf started an investigation and the commissioner had to resign. Later, though, Olaf itself and its director, Giovanni Kessler, came under fire due to the Daly investigation, which was said to violate EU regulation. In the Daly case, Olaf was said not to be independent enough vis-à-vis -vis the European Commission, and now its independence is going to be safeguarded by a controller, in turn attached to the European Commission itself. We saw no, see no reason why this role, this function, should be attached to the Commission specifically, and indeed uh, the controller will have responsibility for authorising intrusive searches into, for example, commissioners' offices, and we think that for that reason it's probably not appropriate that uh, the function sit with the Commission. Ingeborg Gressle, who was responsible for previous reforms of OLAF in the European Parliament, goes even further. She thinks the Commission proposal is useless. It is a completely ridiculous proposal with a lot of loopholes uh, with legal uncertainties, which, who, which does not solve one single problem Olaf has. Olaf will lose com completely its independence. The Commission and the Secretary General will take over control about Olaf. This controller will not be answerable. It will not be, have to report to the Commission at all. Just like Olaf in its investigations, and I would stress that Olaf is fully independent in its investigations. It does not share information with the Commission as to investigations that it opens, and it does not have to give any information to the Commission on its ongoing investigations. Ingeborg Gressler is not convinced. She thinks the Commission wants to weaken Olaf in order to give more powers to itself. But now we see that Olaf is more and more destabilized, more and more weakened, and perhaps this is, this is what they really want to achieve. They do not want to have a real, a well-working a, a well office of fight against fraud. They want to have a destabilized office, which is unable to do the proper work even within the EU institutions. The last couple of years, there's been some major reforms in OLAF, and now an external controller will be able to interfere in its work even further. Now, some would argue that one by one, OLAF is losing its teeth. 